Hello, my name is Edwin Miao. I'm the Product Marketing Manager by Infineon for Hisa Switches for Automotive. Today I'll be talking about our new generation technology products called the Prophet Plus 2. With me today is Andreas Mangla from Rutronic and is in charge of strategic marketing at their office in East Spring in, in Germany. So briefly I will be showing you what uh, the Infineon Prophet Plus 2 devices can do. Here we have a demo board. The demo board has the motherboard and a small daughter board mounted on top. And on this uh, daughter board we have the BTS 7008-2EPA. And here we've connected to a standard 12 volt board nets and you can see here is around 13.2 volts on the board nets. If you want to, to see the demonstrator that this device can actually turn on a, a 55 watt lab, we just need to turn it on and you clearly see that the small demo device here can actually turn on the device we talked about the 55 watt load and that again demonstrate that our devices are working with this small device here you can turn on the 55 watt load device and this is only connected in a single channel and that means you can connect two devices to run the same so additionally uh, profit plus two can drive at very low voltages to demonstrate this we can you do this we first of all uh, try to reduce the voltage from the 13.2 volts and see how far the device can be driven. As you can see the device is still on at 7.2 volts, at 6.2 volts it's still on, at 5.2 it's still on, 4.2 and at, at 3.2 it's still on. If you go much further of course the device goes off but what Infineon says is that at 3.2 volts the device is still on as is demonstrated over there. Additionally, to demonstrate that our Prophet Plus 2 devices can turn on non-lighting loads, here we've connected the Prophet Plus 2 demo board towards the uh, standard water valve and it can be connected to any valve. Here we've connected the high ohmic BTS 7200-2EPA, which is a roughly can be able to drive 5 watt lamps or uh, uh, 0.5 amps. Uh, we've connected it similarly to the 12 volt uh, board net, which is around 13.2 volts here, as well as we've connected to standard logic. In order to demonstrate that this demo board actually can turn on the valves, we just turn it on here, and you see clearly that the demo board is turning on and the water is flowing through the valve. To switch it off again to demonstrate the capability, we just switch it off and the, the valve is switched off. And that shows again the Prophet Plus 2 can drive not only lighting loads but also inductive loads and other applications. The new TS DSO 14 package is quite small. So the smaller footprint and the smaller pin pitch means also a smaller power pad at the bottom of the package. So what does that mean for my thermal management on my PCB regarding the PCB layout for passive cooling especially? This is a very good question. Uh, one of the things we targeted with our new devices was miniaturization which meant making the package smaller. Previously, we had the DSO14 package, which is a body size 14 package. And with the new device, we, we have the TSDSO14, which is a body size 8 package. How we address that to make sure that the thermal capacity or thermal budget on your application remains the same is that we address the shrinking of the devices. So the, sil the silicon is much smaller. And also we address the current consumption of the device. The current consumption is roughly 50% lower than what was before. Additionally, we have faster switching without impacting EMC, and with this we have less conductive uh, losses when the device is running. So in a nutshell, we come from this big PCB for a body, body control module to such a small body control module, and you see the shrink is exactly matching the question you're asking me. The current sense accuracy was less than 5% um, of the new Profit Plus 2 family means also further improvement versus the old Profit Plus family was less than roughly, I think, 8%. As you know, inverse currents could be extremely high, like from halogen bulbs, for example, or, or uh, other lights. Um, so what are the benefits from my applications, especially with, the, um, for that, or with that improved accuracy? This improved accuracy is a very interesting thing. We target it very specifically with this new technology. And the first thing we do is that we were asked actually to go much, much lower than 5%. 5% is already benchmark in the market. With this current sense accuracy, we have many, many customers using it in the market to respond to reducing the wire harness. Reducing the wire harness means cost. You can reduce the number of cables or the length of cables in the car. And again, which is cost saving to you. And if you can do this again, you can really look at the market in a different way and detect loads when they are on or off with this very accurate current sense in the application. With the two high side channels, 
and two additional discrete power MOSFETs for the low side channel, I can also easily design a full bridge motor control unit. Uh, what is the maximum PWM frequency uh, for this full bridge configuration? Uh, good question. Yes, you can build a full bridge uh, solution with a Prophet uh, Plus 2 devices. And with a, with a passive slew rate of around 10 volt for by microsecond, we can recommend a PWM frequency of roughly around 20 to 25 uh, kilohertz. And do you have some recommendation regarding the, the definition of the dead time uh, to minimize the losses? Uh, based on our assessment of the devices, we recommend uh, two times in the, the T off uh, uh, time in, in the device. Our current T off time is roughly 110 microseconds, so double of that is around 220 microseconds as dead time.